You sound much more optimistic now. Well, you know, up up five or six percent always makes you feel a little better. Uh, uh, but no, I think beyond uh, beyond the uh, the current state of the market, a lot of the issues uh, that we were dealing with at the end of last year, uh, unfortunately, are still issues that have to be dealt with going forward. The eurozone continues to be a problem, but perhaps uh, those problems have, uh, to one degree or another, been priced into the market. That remains to be seen. Uh, we've had some positive. Uh, uh, of economic news from the U.S. Now we've been down that road before, where we saw the green shoots that that turned into crabgrass last spring uh, in 2011. And of course, the big trick now will be uh, are the positive signs we're seeing from growth in the U.S. economy. In fact, green shoots, or will it once again turn into crabgrass? And that is uh, still uh, still a bit of controversial and. And the jury is still out, but for the moment, we've seen a, a slightly better employment numbers and slightly better manufacturing numbers and slightly better sentiment numbers. And we'll just have to see if uh, if these numbers really have legs, or as we get into the spring, uh, uh, the uh, what little signs of growth we have seen uh, dissipate. But everyone here seems to be much more in a rally mood now. Yeah. Well, yes, you know, uh, in fact. Investors in general have very short memories, and it doesn't. All it takes is a couple of weeks of a good market, and and uh, and folks are thinking more positively. But in fact, in fact, I think uh, uh, considering how much the market has moved, uh, discretion would dictate that maybe a little caution uh, would be required now, simply because a lot of the background issues, in fact, have not changed, and. Uh, the problems in the eurozone, and we're starting to see that in corporate America. The problems in the eurozone, in terms of big U.S. multinational companies and their exposure to the eurozone, is starting to be reflected in the negative guidance we've seen from big companies like Dupont and Dow Chemical, big chemical companies that have exposure uh, to the eurozone. Their guidance going forward for 2012 has been has been uh, tepid and even negative. Uh, and you, we see more downgrades and more more negative guidance because of exposure to the Eurozone. And the note, the big note of caution is that for the last two years, the last eight quarters, the one positive event in the U.S. has been corporate earnings and corporate balance sheets. And if, in fact, those earnings are going to be subject to deterioration or or a negative impact from the eurozone, uh, and nothing else changes politically or economically, uh, that could be in fact a big negative for the market going forward. So that's my note of caution, and that's something that we all need to stay focused on because if the eurozone situation does not improve, then. It's only a matter of time, in my opinion, till it has a negative impact on corporate America.